The Store Hero Store Overview Report is the best place to get a high level view of your store performance, both through the lens of sales and profitability. Unlike a Shopify, WooCommerce or Magento dashboard, we'll use your underlying costs to calculate profitability on either a gross or a net basis that I can walk through some sample metrics here. First and foremost, you'll see a metrics drop down in the top right hand side of your screen. You have plenty of metrics here you can turn on and off depending on what's most impactful or relevant to your business and maybe to your role. You can easily adjust the performance uh, date range, whether it's a fixed time period, a custom range, or also compare that data to the previous period, whether it be this day, week, or month, or alternatively compare against the previous year. You could also choose to group those metrics by day, week, or month, and on that basis, especially looking at longer time periods, your performance charts will be grouped in that fashion. From here, just to walk through some of the sample metrics on this page, you can see, again, total sales, taxes, net sales, a lot of these typical ones you'll be able to see within the dashboard. Um, again, you can see the likes of gross profit, um, and hovering over each individual metric will give a definition as to what it is. I'd also recommend taking a look at our kind of metrics overview, which is a separate video and article in order to help you understand the calculations and how each of these individual metrics are to be used. From here, under your scorecards, you can also see a chart of sales, orders, and total cost performance. And you can also turn on and off some metrics to see how they're changing in relation to each other for that particular time period. Our cost breakdown also helps you identify on a percentage basis how your overall total or net sales is broken down across each cost center or each profit center of the business. For example, in this case, product cost represents about 23% of my total sales. And on that basis, by kind of looking at each of these individual percentages, it can help me identify, does this line up with my overall expectations? Are my product costs around 23.9% in this case, or alternatively, are we over or under reporting? From there, if you see any particular metrics like fulfillment or packaging fees, they may not be relevant to your business, but it's a simple way to identify are our overall metrics correct. Finally, we can also see our spotlight where we'll identify the biggest mover, i.e. the products that are um, on a percentage basis selling more than they did in the previous period, the top seller, which is ultimately the product that nominally sold the most volume, and also from there, your top customers, the individual customer who sold or ultimately purchased uh, the, the largest volume on, on a sales basis.